right, so I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> the workout that this is going to go with, you will notice I'm a little different, but my family was with me, so it made vlogging a little bit difficult. But coach came through with a word today that might actually be quite similar to um, a couple of other messages that I've had. It might actually be the exact same, but it was just a today because of where we are, I was like, it has a different meaning. And that being perspective, you know, this morning, Liam had a rough, yeah, I guess it was this morning because it was about 3.30 this morning. We had a rough night, which means mommy had a rough night. We had a rough morning. I wasn't in the best mood. He wasn't in the best mood. So that makes leaving uh, difficult and then, you know, getting my mind right for practice. But on top of that, um, where we are in the state of this pandemic, seeing that some states are starting to issue some lockdowns, some curfews, some restrictions. I guess let's call them restrictions because n nothing is like back to where we were back in March. Perspective is the word that my coach used and then also, you know, having a bit of perspective for myself. We're all a little frustrated with where we are. Every, I think everyone wants to go back to life as we know it, you know, unfortunately for some of us with the pandemic. It's just not possible. And perspective comes up for a number of reasons where 2020 has actively been a year where I, you know, have to change my perspective on things. I have to try to look at things from a different angle rather than just my singular individual experience and my singular individual individual perspective because very same thing for someone else is a different truth is a different reality the reality is there are a lot of us that feel like the pandemic doesn't affect us we're not in the at risk age range therefore you know we're just gonna live our life as we would and if we get it it's like I got the flu or I got the cold or you know and I'll bounce back and I'll be okay some of us <laughs> are like I've got a little person to be concerned about I've got my mother and my brother to be concerned Concerned about I've got myself to be concerned about I've got other loved ones to be concerned about and I have the privilege to where I don't have to put my son in daycare I am NOT an essential worker the work that I do I can do safely and do it at a distance and do it outside and wear my mask and wash my hands and all of those things I have those privileges I live my life of partying I don't need that anymore I do have the perspective and the open mind to know that not everyone has the same perspective and not everyone has the same priorities or the same privileges. A huge perspective for me has been that, you know, we all should be striving to show up in all capacities of our lives as our best versions of ourselves, right? And we should all be striving to attain the best versions of ourselves, our fullest potentials. But we also got to be willing enough to give grace to some of us who are showing up as best we can. And to my standard, your best may, might not be what I think the best is. But if you're working with what you have and the tools that you have and you're showing up the best way you can, how can I ask you to show up any more or less? You know, you're showing up the best way you can. And so I'm trying to have that perspective in my relationships where, you know, we expect people to be certain things and people that they just aren't. And we just have to love people as the way they are. We expect our government to show up in a way that whether they're capable or not is not <laughs> or you know maybe some people feel like the government is doing enough we expect our neighbors to show up in a way that um, we want at the end of the day everyone is showing up the best way they know how whether or not i think it's trash or you know the right thing really doesn't matter if everyone is showing up the best way they can then what more can we really ask for so you know that that's kind of been the perspective that i've been trying to adopt this year and I will tell you it's not a easy perspective to have and it's not an easy practice. I will wholeheartedly say that that is one of the main reasons why A I wanted to get into clinical mental health but B why I say that I could never be a coach. I could be a mental coach but I cannot be an athletic coach and it'll be interesting to see how I do even with my son as he grows up in athletics because I do see myself like we're, we're playing baseball we're playing basketball I want him to run I want, I'm trying to expose him to everything but like nobody can want it more than <laughs> the person themselves no one can show up with more or less than what they have and it's up to that person to want to learn more and strive to be more I know if I had some people that I believe had the potential or just you know 
about were, in my opinion, wasting my time, that would have a really hard time with it. But perspective, maybe those people are showing up the best way they know how. But my perspective is, I ain't putting up with it. <laughs> I ain't got the patience for it, so I ain't doing it. But anyway, people, perspective. We're all doing the best that we can. We all want to get out of this pandemic. We all want to achieve everything it is that we want to achieve. You know, sometimes we've got to change our perspective on things. And this morning, I said to myself, how blessed am I that I, I still get to do the thing that I love? And I get to come outside and breathe the fresh air. There are a lot of things that did not happen this year as a result of COVID. Um, and there are a lot of things that are happening currently to people. You know, unemployment is at a high. Kids are going without education, food, because they go to school to eat and they're not getting those meals anymore. Families are going without food. Like, there are so many things that my life could be right now, but it's not went all over the place as usual but I hope that you all followed that <laughs> and you know hopefully that helps you to have a better perspective on just whatever challenges you might be facing right now and know that um, you know you're showing up the best possible way that you can and if you don't show up the best possible way that you can because we all do that too give yourself a little bit of grace and know that the next time you show up you show up even better and you know you do the work to show up even better whether that's through your perspective or what it is that you need to get done so done rambling happy friday and all that good stuff you know subscribe give me a thumbs up you know also leave down below what other types of content you'd like to see i know that we've been enjoying you know the little tidbits of the workouts that i can give and then these little chit chats but i want to pick back up with tea time i want to pick back up with trev there's a whole lot of things that i want to do but you know perspective time management <laughs> happy friday